now let us discuss about construction of cfg for these five languages let us see the first example construction of cfg for 0 plus 1 whole star here the input alphabet mainly contains two symbols they are 0 and 1 uh, now let us uh, derive the language so here 0 plus 1 whole star means uh, any occurrences of any combinations of zeros and ones so the first one is zero occurrences of zero and one that is epsilon next one occurrence of zero one occurrence of one next to two occurrences of these two combinations so the strings of length are two zero 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 one one zero one one likewise we can take three combination four combination so on so this is the uh, language for this expression here our target is we want to construct a context free grammar. So first let us derive the production rules. Production rules. Production rules are denoted by P. P. Production rules. Let the starting symbol is yes. Yes implies. Yes implies. So let us take zero here. The minimum uh, string is zero. So zero. So after this zero. We can have 0 or 1 or 0, 0, 1. We can have any number of occurrences. So for that purpose, we have to recursively call this one as yes, starting symbol. Or the minimum possible string is uh, for 1 is 1. After this one, we can have 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Likewise, we can have uh, several strings. So we have to call the starting symbol recursively. Recursively. Next, what is the minimum string? Epsilon is the minimum string. So, for getting that string or for termination purpose, we have to use epsilon. So, totally we have three productions. S implies 0 S or 1 S or epsilon. So, totally we have three productions. So, what is the context free grammar? G is equal to V. So, V means uh, variables, not terminals. Here we have only one non terminal. Next terminals are 0 and 1. Next productions. So totally we have three productions. Let us use P. Starting symbol is yes. Now let us take a string and uh, let us check whether that string is uh, derived or not. Let us take uh, 110. So how to get 110? Yes implies. So here the string is starting with 1. So 1s. One so 1s. One Next yes implies 1. After 1 also we have 1. So we need to take 1s. We need to take yes means 1s. So yes implies. 1 1. So what is yes? Here after this double 1 we have uh, 0. So 0 means we have to take s implies 0 s. Yes. So s implies 1 1 0. What is yes? Yes means now we have to terminate the corresponding process. Why? Because here the string is 1 1 0. Already we got 1 1 0. So 1 1 0 into epsilon is nothing but 1 1 0. So this is the string. So we can say that our CFG is correct only. Now let us see the second example. What is the second example? Construction of CFG for language which accepts palindromes over A comma B. Over A comma B. So here input alphabet contains two symbols. They are A comma B. Next, the language is palindrome string. So any string of uh, single character is a palindrome. Uh, let us take the first one as epsilon. So A is palindrome, B is palindrome. Why? Because the reverse of A is A only, the reverse of B is B only. If you take A, A it is a palindrome. B, B is a palindrome. Why? Because the reverse of A, A is A only. If you take A, B, A, A, B, A is a palindrome string. Why? Because the reverse of A, B, A is A, B, A only. Okay. Uh, next, uh, let us take one more string. B, A, B, A, B, A, A, B. So this is also palindrome string. The reverse of B, A, A, B is B, A, A, B only. So let us write the production rules. So yes implies. So here if you take the if you observe this string, this is a palindrome string. What is a palindrome string? The reverse of the string is equals to the given string. Okay. So if the string is starting with the character A, it also ends with A. If you observe BB, here the string starting with B and it is also ending with B. If you observe this string, here the string is starting with A and it is also ending with A. So that means here, that means here, if the character is, if the string is starting with the character A, 
then it ends with ye. In between we can have any number of yes and this. So for that purpose we have to use yes. Or if the string is starting with B, then it palindrome means it should be ends with me. So if the string starts with character B, then it ends with B only. So BSB. BSB. Uh, next, uh, what are the other uh, production rules we have to write? If you take ABA, if you take ABA, so this is a palindrome string. What is the length of this string? 3. So 3 means uh, it is odd length palindrome string. So odd length means uh, length of the palindrome string is 3. So here in between we have B. In between A and A we have B. If you take another string, B A, B, A, B. So here what is the length of the string? 5. 5 is the length of the string. So in between B A and A B we have B. B. So that means here if it is odd length pad, odd length palindrome string, then if the input alphabet contains A B, then we may get either A or B in the middle. If we take A, A as the middle here, then we can get either A or B in the middle. So A or B. Next, if you take this one, B A A B. B A A B. So what is the length of this string? The length of this string is 4. So 4 means it is even length palindrome string. Even length palindrome string means here we have B A, here we have reverse of B A that is A B. So in between this, in between uh, uh, these two parts, we do uh, we, uh, there is no need to use any A or B. So we have to use epsilon here. Why? Because epsilon into anything is nothing but anything only. Okay. So these are the productions here. So if we have uh, 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 even length palindrome, if we have even length palindrome, then the productions are S implies A S A B S B. BSB epsilon. This is for even length, even length palindrome. Whereas for odd length, ASA or BSB or A or B for odd length. Let us take an example for this. Let us take the same example. S implies ABA. So S implies here the string is starting with A. So we have to take ASA. So ASA. So S implies here we need to derive ABA. So in place of yes, we can substitute B. So this is what odd length. Odd length means we can use A or B also. So A, B. So this is the string. So if it is odd length, then we have to use either A or B. Now let us take even length. A, B, B, A. A, B, B, A. The reverse of A, B, B, A is A, B, B, A only. So S implies. So first we have A. So let us take A, S, A. A, S, A. Next. A. Next we need to we need to have B. So for B let us take for B let us take A B A. If, if we take uh, if we take this one we will get A B A. Uh, if we take uh, B S B we can take B S B. S implies B S B. So A B A. So S implies A B. What is S here? This is even length. Even length means we have to use epsilon. A B epsilon B A. So A B epsilon into B A is nothing but B A only. A B B A. So this is the derivative stream. Now let us see the next example. Construct CFG for the land base L is equal to WC, WR, W power R, such that W belongs to AB whole star. Here W is the string, W power R means reverse of the string, reverse of the string. If we have uh, uh, ABA here, then what is the reverse of the string? What is the here we have to accept which palindromes? Construct CFG for ABA. What is the reverse of ABA? ABA only. ABA. Next in bit, this is W. This is W power R. The reverse of ABA is ABA only. In between W and W power R, we should have C. So that means what is the length? 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is odd length string. If you take A here, if you take AB here, what is the reverse of AB? B. What is the reverse of AB? BA. So B A. So in between A B and B A, we need to have C. So what is the length of this string? So 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So this is an example for odd length string. Odd length string. So for odd length, the productions are S implies A S A, B S B, R, R. In, in the middle, we have to substitute C here. 
In the middle, we have to substitute C here. C. So these are the productions here. If you take an example here, if you take an example here, if you take a ACA, ACA, S implies what are the productions? A, S, A. S implies A. What is S? C. If you take C here, A, A, C, A. So this is the derivative stream. Suppose if you don't have C here, then W, W power R. If you take A, V, then what is the reverse of A, V? V, A. So A, V, V, A. A, V, B, A. So this is nothing but, this is nothing but even length palindrome. If it is even length palindrome, then it is enough. A, S, A, B, S, B, Epsilon is enough. Okay. But here in between we have C. So C means we have uh, uh, odd and speed. Now let us see the next example. Construct CFG for the land base uh, which contains strings with exactly one A. So we should have only one A. We should have only one A. Here the alphabet contains two symbols. And what is the land base? Only one A. We can have any number of Bs. There is no restriction on that. We can have any number of Bs. But there is only one A. Okay. So there is only one A. So before this A, we can have any number of Bs. B star. After this A, we can have any number of Bs. So this is the regular expression for this one. Let us write the production rules. Production rules. S implies this B. Uh, now what is B star? B star means any number of Bs. So let us represent that one with the help of B. Next to small a. B star means any number of Bs. Let us represent that with the help of B. So next to B implies what is B here? Any number of Bs. Any number of Bs means uh, zero number of Bs also. So zero number of Bs means epsilon or any number of Bs. So that means it has to begin with B. After this B, we can have any number of Bs. So let us call this B recursively. Let us call this B recursively. So this is the production rules. So based on the production rules, uh, uh, we can write the grammar very, very easily. So G is equal to B comma T comma P comma S. Next, at least one year. At least one year about the alphabet A comma B. So at least one year means minimum one year. Maximum, there is no restriction on A's and B's. So here, before this year, we can have any number of A's and B's. After this year, we can have any number of A's and B's. Let us write the production rules. S implies, let us denote any number of A's and B's with A. A, A, A. Now A implies any number of A's and B's. So that problem was already solved. It, it is similar to 0 plus 1 whole star. Any number of A's means 0 A, 0 A. Any number of A's means small A, A. We can have 1 A after this A. We can have any number of A's. Next, any number of B's means we can have 1 B after this B. We can have any number of B's. So that is done by calling this A. Next, we can have zero number of A's and zero number of B's that is denoted by epsilon. So in this way, we can construct CFG for the languages.